Are you a cricket tragic? Did you look over any of the Ethics Centre findings and recommendations that were made to Cricket Australia? How do you think if family lawyers um, were put under such uh, rigours as well and if they were reviewed and their conduct was reviewed into their methods of playing? I was up against an SC and his junior a little while ago and the junior was um, very friendly and nice to deal with but the SC I found personally was prickly, aggressive, disrespectful to me and it really had an effect on me. It made me reevaluate the um, services that I would offer in family law. But what do you want people to say about you as a professional, as a human being? Is your rep uh, reputation important to you now, like right now, or do you only think that it will be important to you if you've got a chance of losing it? Because you know it is very difficult to get back, as these three cricketers involved in the ball tampering scandal would know very well. I feel very strongly about increasing humanity in law. But because not only do we need to value the technicalities and the hierarchy, which is, of course we all need uh, to know and be good at the technicalities. However, I want to shine a light on the human side, how we treat each other, what we do and say to each other in practice and in our professional workplaces, because these can have a lasting impact on our colleagues, our opponents, our bosses, juniors, anyone we interact with professionally. It can be detrimental to a person's health, their enjoyment in practicing law. If I had a wand, uh, I would like to put a stop to aggressive lawyering, lawyering for lawyers to stop equating aggression with being a good adversarial advocate or lawyer, because it's not. And for lawyers to really understand and value the, the human soft skills required for one, successful negotiation, two, successful in, interpersonal professional relationships, and three, successful, healthy and happy lawyering. Anne-Marie Rice gave a speech recently after receiving her award as Queensland Women Lawyers Association Lawyer of the Year. I congratulate Anne-Marie, it was very uh, well deserved. But her speech really resonated with me and I thought I'd share. She said, I'm tired, exhausted from walking the walk of a one-dimensional, masculine, aggressive way of practicing family law. We're not acting as soldiers, rather as gladiators. This one dimensional walk, it makes problems worse. It doesn't reduce the issues to be resolved. It actually inflames them. It changes who we are as people, as for many of us, it's not a part of who we are. It's not a part of our usual behavior or thinking. And I wanna be me, I want to be authentic. Also, many women opt out of law early because of the gladiator masculine style of dispute resolution. And you know, know what, me too, I'm tired, I'm really tired, I'm exhausted with the aggression I feel I experience in family law, and my recent experience reinforced my decision to only accept briefs as a mediator, FDRP, collaborative coach in family law, our arbitrator in family law. I still act as a mediator and barrister in medical negligence and victims of institutional abuse, and a barrister in, in criminal matters. But, Reverting to the recommendations made to Cricket Australia, what do you think your response would be, or even your thoughts, looking at it from a larger scale, how would legal bodies respond to such recommendations being made to them? Some of the recommendations uh, that I thought were appropriate were recommendation number five, honours such as the Allen Border Medal, needs to take into account a player's character and behaviours as well as their performance in bat batting and bowling, really akin to the Brownlow Medal for Best and Fairest in AFL. In line with this, players who have been uh, penalised for poor on-field behaviour should not be eligible as recipients for major awards. Recommendation 15. Players with leadership aspirations or capacity should undertake formal leadership training, including processes to improve their capacity to display moral courage. Recommendation 29. Cricket Australia make explicit in documentation a general prohibition against conduct that might reasonably be perceived as bullying. Recommendation 32. Cricket Australia's performance reviews and bonus schemes be harmonised so that all versions take into account ethical and behavioural considerations as the basis for potential reward. Recommendation 38, the high performance unit be responsible for and resource to develop not just the physical, mental and emotional attributes of players, 
but also their characters in line with the ethos of playing hard but fair. Recommendation 41, selectors be required to take account of a player's character as well as their skills as a cricketer when making a selection. Interesting. A Chinese proverb says, the man who removes a great mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Large changes can occur with small efforts to begin with. It's up to each of us individually to start making those changes right now. If you want to see a positive change, learn and experience a healthier, more enjoyable way to practice family law, please contact me. My details are on my website, www.sydneybarrister.net.au.